This is the Social Television Authority. Good morning and welcome back to our occasional bulletin of YouTube's news and information for the social television and media networking trades. We start today with the latest trade news of the YouTube community in making different changes to mobile and pocket television platforms. The latest accomplishment for YouTube Shorts recently has been made satisfactory since last week. It is possible for some customers to set convenient thumbnails on the short service to decorate the main detail of their own mobile television attractions and many ways of telling the story of their own creativity. Partners of the Creator Roundup for trade topics on social television have previously prepared a helpful documentary broadcast on technical tips on choosing thumbnails for shorts. It includes important concerns on carrying live product shipping and social shopping out of the studio during on-air streaming in order to improve on making use of the new Merchandise Center feature a general opportunity for most contributors at YouTube creators. The premiere has been available to view on STV since last Friday. We should obtain more details in the upcoming annotation. But we are concentrating on independent social radio this morning, with one station just about to enter full service out of three stations due in late summer. So stay with us for the next 10 minutes or so. The first local independent social radio station went into service yesterday. And in general terms, iHeart Broadcasting serving Sacramento, California, has made history already. It is the first U.S. podcast radio station in the new UHF subband of 101.1 to 107.5 MHz. Both the UHF and the MF transmitter are on the same site at El Dorado near the central joint of the Sacramento County line, just southeast of Rosemont. UHF is on 108 MHz, and social listeners will have to tune through the local emergency services to get to the new subband. A very few old internet radio sets may not even tune beyond an inefficient number of megahertz. But we think these are few and far between. So, assuming the point where you can tune in, perfect stereophonic sound should be available in Sacramento itself, and as far as Rosemont and Arden. As usual, mixed multipolarization is used, but people with externally fixed antennas are probably better off with them mounted by mega aerials. The largely rural areas further to the south and west will depend on medium wave, and satisfactory daytime reception should be possible in Florin, Elk Grove, Citrus Heights, Rancho Cordova, and generally in places up to about 12 miles from the transmitter. The MF signals are on 1705 kHz, which is a wavelength of 176 meters. That's iHeart Broadcasting in full social radio program service, and we wish them well. And a final reminder now that additional information about the proposed ISR services for Barstow and Eureka can be found on the local broadcaster's e-page on the iHeartMedia website. Or, if you are a listener in a local area, you may tune in to the two preset aerial range for spare UHF or FM podcasts between 92.5 MHz, that's the station frequency for the breeze, and 107.9 MHz, that's for transmissions on KISS FM. In social television transmitter news, we will review this week's special announcements, the latest on Channel 3, and full details of two new social television relays. In Sutter, there's Trope Ridge with California STV and Channel 3, and in the state's Channel Islands, the relay at Avalon for Seaside Television, American Weekend, and YouTube AM, together with the third channel. But before all that, a quick report now about the process on switching places for networking information from STV to the Derby Boru service. We have presented a permission leaflet to allow Derby Boru to add a new rule to site-wide regulations about the big movement of premiering announcements for better improvement, but there were violation problems. It's not so good news for what is known as the new Social Premiering Board Authority, therefore our account is now currently denied from most of the site's features due to references as spammers. This impacts the reason why our status on the site has not been satisfactory. According to the violation report, we were stated that we are not actually an official subsidiary, 
and that we were trying to get out unrelated material for profit. The Derpy Bull staff does not sound very happy about having us around, since the site is designed only for fanatic feature posts to be displayed through the courtesy of the full corporate franchise of My Little Pony. We have the proof that they are wrong in order to declare war on the Derby Bull site and their franchise bidding. But we think the major reason for the denial was that things would be a lot better around there if the STA is not allowed on the site. But don't despair, we are continuing on YouTube on barely some Mondays at 9.45 on all STV Channel 3, J4C and individual YouTube user transmitters. We realize that we won't reach some of the people who need the information most, but there is no alternative. And that was when we decided to provide abundant posts and updates on social media, while we are still preparing our fan wiki page on fandom and our online newsletter on Twitter. Somehow, in the meantime, we are currently planning our special pages coming soon on DeviantArt as a graphic magazine and on fanfiction as a literature newspaper about our organization history and special events. Over to Transmitter News now, starting with Channel 3 coverage. On the air, Adventura, Newberry Park, on Channel 27. This relay covers a population of 4,500. Expected to begin transmissions this week, Cadenasso on Channel 60, covering 12,500 people, and in Tulare, serving Tarosa, Ivanhoe, also on Channel 60. This relay covers a population of 6,000. And expect it next week, Channel 3 from the Saxon Relay in YOLO. This will be on Channel 34 and is for about 17,000 people. And hoping to be equipped with Channel 3 by early June, relays at Lucerne, Janesville, Ben Hur, Darlingtonia, and Lake of the Woods. Over to special announcements next, and in place air, Auburn continues on reduced power on all channels until the replacement wireless antenna system is installed in July. Also in place air, Rawhide is liable to interruptions during mornings only for the next couple of weeks because the antenna system is being overhauled. In Amador, Volcano will be off the air tomorrow between 6 a.m. and noon on all channels for tower mass maintenance by the YouTube studio. In Santa Cruz, Davenport will be off the air tomorrow between 8.30 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. for work by the electricity board. And in Orange, Westminster will be off tomorrow from 9.30 until 10.30 in the morning for essential electrical maintenance. In Calabas, Jesus Maria will be off tomorrow and Wednesday between 7 in the morning and noon for painting of the tower mast. And in Fresno, Tranquility will be off tomorrow and Wednesday between 9.30 and 10.30 in the morning because of maintenance by the electricity board. In Kings, the Cimarron Relay will be off on Wednesday for work by the Electricity Board. In Napa, Salvador will be off on Wednesday between 10.30 and 11.30 in the morning for electrical work. In Del Norte on Wednesday, Gasquet will be off from 9.30 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. And Patrick Creek will be off from 4 to 8 in the morning and 2 to 5 in the afternoon, both because of work by the Electricity Board. Hilmar Irwin will be off on Thursday on all channels between 6 a.m. and noon to permit tower mask painting. In San Francisco, Chinatown will be off on Thursday between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. for maintenance by the electricity board. And in Madeira, Alwani will be off next Monday from 5 a.m. to noon, again for maintenance work by the electricity board. Switching over to new relays now and the station at Trowbridge in Sutter is due to come on air later this week. Built adjacent to the Yuba County branch and scattered around the borders, the new relay should improve surrounding coverage to just over 2,000 people around Trowbridge and parts around Nicholas, Sutter itself, and Yuba City. The largely rural areas of southwestern Yuba share good signals extending from the borders together with Marysville, Linda, Olivehurst, and other surrounding places in Brown Valley. The relays at Sutter and Yuba City should tune into the new service area for best reception and to avoid any difficulties of co buffering interference. California STV will be on Channel 32, with Channel 3 available right from the start on 16. 
The antenna group is E, a thousand wireless aerials multipolarized. That's Trowbridge in Sutter, due on the air by the end of the week. And in the Los Angeles Channel Islands on Santa Catalina, the new relay for Avalon is near completion and should be on the air in two or three weeks' time. It is intended to serve just over 500 people living about four miles of the Santa Catalina region in those parts of the island unable to get good pictures from the Mount Orizaba or Catalina Airport Valley Field. Seaside Television and American Weekend with YouTube AM will be on Channel 41 with Channel 3 on 56 from the offset. Group B antennas are to be needed, a thousand wireless aerials multipolarized. That's the relay at Avalon due on the air in two or three weeks' time. Also near in completion in Santa Barbara, Isla Vista. Playhouse Television and YouTube AM are on Channel 24 and Channel 3 on 27. Antenna Group A with Kilo Aerial Multipolarization. And in Los Angeles, Pasadena. GTV Hollywood is on Channel 47 and J4C on 92. The antenna group is F or W, a thousand wireless aerials multipolarized. These relays are hoping to be on air in a week or two. That's about it for this week, and we leave you with our address in case you want to contact us. We hope you can join us again next week at the same time on all STV Channel 3, J4C, and individual user account transmitters. If we can't make it, no need to worry. We can still bring you our next issue sometime sooner after the due date. In the meantime, have a good week. From all of us here at the STA, this is Tammy Smith and myself, John Howard Swiss, signing off. Thank you for watching, and until then, goodbye for now.